my first guest. I am so grateful for our first chef. Anthony Porowski is a self-taught, yes! Anthony is a self-taught cook who shot to fame as the food and wine expert on the show We Love Queer Eye. Now the best-selling cookbook author is the host of a new Netflix show. It's called Easy Bake Battle, where skilled home cooks compete to win prize money by sharing their best kitchen hacks for making easy, mouth-watering meals. Take a look. Cake flour has more starch. Yeah. And less protein, so that's gonna that's gonna that might affect might make it. it gummy. In the, it might make it a little gummy. Yeah. So just like love, sometimes you change yourself to be better. You know. So I'm like in a bind. I only have ten minutes left. Time to pull an audible. So in the spirit of the holiday season, I'm making sugar cookie popcorn. It's something that my mom used to make at Christmas time. It's super fast, super efficient. Chris has pivoted. If I've ever seen a pivot. We are not pivoting out of this gratitude moment. Please welcome. green on you. <laughs> you know, I love everything oh you do. Oh my gosh. Welcome back. You look amazing. The Thank fans you. love you. Hi, everybody. So um, today we are celebrating gratitude. When yeah. I say grateful gratitude, what first comes to mind? I mean, just Thanksgiving alone, I think, is obviously such a time for gratitude, but I love how Americans are so obsessed with the holiday. In <laughs> right. Canada, we get one day off, not even a half day from school. And here, I feel like it's like a whole week. You want to go apple picking, you want to get your pumpkins, you right. want to like do the whole thing. Yeah, because like we go month. from Halloween to Thanksgiving, yeah. and then straight to the other holidays yes. after that. So you're Canadian. Yes. So when did you really um, understand how serious we take, especially the meal? Especially the, 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 meal. the meal. Oh my, well, the fact that you have more than one protein, like the fact that <laughs> like, I see like turkey and like a baked ham situation, I think is just so wild. <laughs> um, I think it was when I first moved to the States, when I moved yeah. to West Virginia in junior high and seeing Ooh. how the family celebrated and um, yeah, it was just, that. just a big change from All right, how so I was as raised. I said, we are, we put the turkey to the side yep. because, you know, you have your opinions about the turkey, but it's the sides where it's happening it's for us. It's the sides. Yes! And also, I'm obsessed with eating seasonally. You mentioned pocketbooks yeah. earlier. Not only is it better for the planet because ingredients don't have to travel as far, but also they're cheaper. Yeah. Like if you're buying squash or anything like that in the season, they're a lot less expensive than trying to get them in summer shipped from who knows where. Okay, so, so in season squash. And yes. what are we making? What's the dish? Okay, this is one of my very favorite things. It combines two things that I really love and I actually make a version of this at least once a week for me and my partner um, using squash. So first things first. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and scoop out the insides. Scoop out the seeds. You know, I have a bird, so we give, jo my bird's name is Josephine Berker. So we give, <laughs> I know, clever. We give Josephine Berker the seeds, uh, and she loves them. Oh, nothing goes uh -huh. to waste. Okay, so nothing goes to waste in our house. So really easy, you wanna get all the stringy parts out, because okay. those aren't so pleasant whenever you're eating them. And then literally, just the way you would yeah. cut a sandwich, fingers uh -huh. on either side, because yeah. safety first. Uh -huh and just go down and push. Now, some people like myself, I'm intimidated by cutting squash. I have to be honest with you. It's, it's tough, but the thing is, like, if you have a sharp knife, it's actually a lot safer than having a dull knife. You yeah. just wanna cut some nice thick slices, probably about three quarters of an inch or okay. so. If you're doing half inch, that's fine. Just try to make sure that you're consistent with all of your pieces so that they roast um, evenly. evenly. So, red onion, mm -hmm. nice, sweet, you wanna go ahead. Um, and cutting it with the root intact. If you want to be a perfectionist, they just have these beautiful little That's fans. That's a great tip, root intact. And that yeah, keeps so it... the, the root part that has yeah, like the yeah. little stringy parts, you just want to keep that intact okay. so that all your little pieces stay they're together. Cute. They're going to caramelize beautifully nice. and they're not going to dry out as opposed to having like single pieces. Nice, okay. You want to go ahead and cut the onion, onion throw it, it in, in there. Here. Okay. I'm nice watching and easy, along. beautiful. Okay. And then a bit of chili powder, it's mm. pretty mild. You can add a little bit of cayenne if you want that extra heat, but you don't have to. I know some people are sensitive to it. I love how you know you embrace the novice and all of us because I cook four days a week, but I am still a work in progress. Some things turn out great, some things well, not first so much. Of, first so, of all, aren't we all works in progress true. at all times? But and you make it so comforting. A little so then a little oil. bit of olive oil. Okay. And what are we setting our oven to? Uh, 425. 425, yeah. okay. So these are gonna basically roast for about 40 to 45 minutes. And okay. about halfway through, you wanna turn them around because no oven is 
perfectly okay. even. And then if you're messy, you want to use your hands, and if not, rubber spatula is perfect. You want to toss it around. At home, I'd be all in this. Not today. Not today. Not, today. not, today. not like We're, this. We don't have on apron, so that's Correct. an excuse. Okay, so we get that so nice you and... you plop it all over okay. a lined sheet. Okay, Thanksgiving. Everyone and their moms are roasting vegetables. Yes. If I have one single piece of advice, Space it out. All right, so we're gonna put this in the That's gonna go in the oven. oven. Do we cover this in the oven or roast nope. it without? Okay, great. No no need for the thickness that we have. It's Perfect. not necessary. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven 425, yep. roast it for 40 minutes while these roast when we come back. Anthony shares the gratitude he has for his latest project, his new Netflix show, Easy Bake Battle. It is so fun. And we're gonna tackle what you see here in front of me, lentils and his secret to success there. We're cooking with gratitude with some of our favorite chefs. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Miguel, and today we got some turkey legs, one of my favorite dishes to make during the holiday season because it's easy, it's delicious, and sometimes we don't want to make a whole turkey. It has become a staple in my house. Family enjoys it, and we look forward to it every holiday. Now, it's always good to brine your meat to make it tender and juicy. Afterwards, you want to wash it off with cold water, pat it dry, and rub that seasoning all over. Glaze it over with some fresh garlic, chicken stock, and dry thyme. Slow cooking in the oven for a few hours. I was inspired to create this dish for families of all sizes so everyone can enjoy. You always know you nailed the dish, especially when the kids love it too. Come here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna give you some more. Enjoy. From my family to yours, have a happy and thankful holiday. Wow, okay, that was Tan Fam member Miguel Martinez. Okay, I've changed my mind about turkey. <laughs> I was uncertain until I saw that. Thank you, Miguel. Well, we are turning things up Thanksgiving style with side dishes that you will not forget with some of our favorite guests from past shows. Someone that I just absolutely adore is still with us, Anthony Porowski. He is, of course, the breakout star of Clear Eye, and he's here teaching us to make a chili roasted winter squash with lentils, lime, and arugula, a recipe from his cookbook, Let's Do Dinner. Last time you were on, you were talking about traditions with your partner, yeah. Kevin. Yeah. What's your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? My favorite Thanksgiving tradition is usually trying not to be the type A person that I am when I text his mom and figure, that's him. That's so cute. Um, and texting his mom and figuring out how many dishes I can bring without trying to overtake the experience oh, for his Oh, ha I never thought about that because when you're a professional at this, you could upstage everyone. It's not about upstaging, it's just but it my is. comfort zone. <laughs> And I get social anxiety, so like I like to be in a kitchen. Like just okay. throw me, like keep me near if the If I stove, had your skills, you know? I'd be walking in like, hi everybody, party's <laughs> over. Look what I made. All right, as I mentioned, you are a host and judge of the new Netflix show, Easy Bake Battle. Yes. Why did you want to join that show? I mean, it was I was trying to figure out kind of like what I wanted my singular voice to be like. All uh -huh. of us have been kind of doing our own projects since, and I knew that I wanted to work with home cooks because I, I just feel it. like it's coming from such a personal, yeah. personal place. Okay, let's finish up okay. this dish that you have. But you have the, um, we've swapped out our roasted squash yes. in the oven for 40 minutes. It looks delicious here, by the way. Beautifully brown. The onions are caramelized. We're very happy. Now, now? Okay. lentils. I'm obsessed with lentils. Why? They're high in fiber. They're high oh. in protein. They're so easy to make. Okay. Cheap and cheerful. Love that. They can last a couple of days in the fridge if you oh. make a bunch. And if you screw these up, you can use them for something okay, else. Okay, I'm in love with right lentil, too. It. Okay. So, in a small pot, just mm -hmm. fill it up with some water. Okay. Throw in, we're doing green lentils here, but you can use red, you can use right. lapui, whatever you got. A nice general pinch of now, salt. Now I'm told you have a great trick for us for lentils to make sure they come out perfect. Well, it's really, it's kind of like a risotto. You want to like keep oh. on folding and checking on it regularly. It's the same thing with lentils, because if you go one minute over, they get mushy and they yes. start to fall apart. It ruins it for the salad, but keep them. You can easily just dump them into a soup or a stew. Okay. You can make like a nice Indian dal. Don't throw them. So they don't throw them if you overcook, but okay. the key is to get it right. Key is to get it right so that it has that perfect bite, but they're not fully falling apart. Okay, so and so does that mean we're constantly stirring like constantly risotto? Constantly stirring. You definitely want to set it to high, like okay. I just remembered to do. And unlike pasta, you can add your lentils to cold water and okay. get it started. It's not like pasta where you have to throw it in the water. Oh, so you can boiling. put them direct in water without totally. boiling. So this is great because you're you're roasting this at 40 minutes, so that gives you time to focus on your lentils. Exactly. I like that. Yep. All right, and our lentils are done through the magic of television. Lentils are done. They're ready to go. Now we're going to pivot, and we have our vinaigrette. 
How much oil are you putting in here? I'm eyeballing. I'm starting okay. with a half, and right. I like to just kind of like try and, and nice. taste as I go. Okay. A little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. I like an aggressive amount of coarse pepper. I like just to that. get that crunch. I love that you have proper pepper mills. I can't stand powdered pepper. You don't like powdered pepper. No, it's literally a dollar more, and you get like the the little contraption-y thing that. Look fresh at you, budget it. and amazing. And then you can like refill it afterwards. I like it. It tastes so much I better. I love it. I just like because I feel like I'm at a restaurant. Yeah. You know I mean, I'm all about the like show until I can get it right. House. Okay. So whisk this and together. And then you want to whisk it up. Okay. Let it emulsify. Nice. And if you have children, this is a great distraction on Thanksgiving Day. You just go here, make the dressing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got and my salad. And then we're gonna go ahead and dress this. Okay. I'm gonna put most of it, not all. Not all. Okay. Saving some for the table. So some for the table and some for the squash as oh. well. And you want to mix it around. I like to go. One of my, I have many pet peeves in the kitchen, but one of them is like when a salad is overdressed and everything oh, just gets like mushy and like worst. really gross. I can't stand that. I agree. I'm with you on that. So I didn't do this, but what you can do is pour your vinaigrette or your dressing, whatever it is, on the side of the bowl so that it coats it, and then it just kind of makes it a little more oh, thoroughly mixed. You come in with all of the tricks of the trade. Right? So, okay, I like you that. You learn a lot when you make a lot of mistakes. No, it's done. All yeah. right. So we plate this on here. Or do, oh, so we add I'm it I'm actually going to start with the lentils. OK. Oh, all right. OK. OK. So I'm oh, just going to so put, put a little our lentils on there. as a base. OK. These are beautiful, and then, I don't have way. a spoon, but I'm just going to. Oh, you and put And these are on. perfectly cooked. So and we then have you our... just start dressing it okay. with pieces of squash. Make sure you get those onions. Oh, these are so crunchy. It makes me so happy. And then you put all your salad over and then top? And you add your greens. Yup. Okay. I have it here. Taste beautiful. This. My gosh. Ooh. Everyone's mmming. Man. I love acorn squash so much. This is amazing. And the lime with the chili powder. This is amazing. Can I say it again? This is amazing. I'm glad Anthony, you like it. Anthony, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, Thank I gotta you. go in again. Ooh. You can find this recipe. Go to our website, TamaronHallShow.com. And please do not miss Anthony's new show, Easy Bake Battles, streaming on Netflix. Thank you, everybody. We adore you. I'm grateful to have you on two times in a row. Thank, Thank you, you yeah. so much.